everybody, it's Kristen, and I know it's been a little bit. Thank you so much for being patient with me. For those of you that don't follow me on social media, I moved. Um, that's what we, we moved. Bob came with me. <laughs> we, um, at some point, maybe I'll do a get ready with me and kind of talk you guys through it, but the very short version is that um, we, a lot of, those of you who have watched our vlog uh, channel in the past know that we've been wanting to move back into town for quite some time. So we decided, okay, we were gonna put an offer on a house, but we should list our house first. Very long story short, our house, our old house sold within 36 hours. Um, we purchased this house and moved, and it was about six, seven weeks in between the time we decided to and when we actually moved. So it moved very, very quickly, <laughs> and you're gonna have to give me, if, if you're willing, just a little bit of time here to kind of deal with lighting and sound and that sort of thing. I don't have anything up on the walls. Our house is pretty much unpacked for the most part, but I don't have any decorations, and I can kind of hear there's a little bit of an echo in here, so you'll just have to give me some time to sort of deal with that. I won't talk maybe as loud as I normally do, and thus maybe Maybe it won't echo quite so much. So I'm going to film a couple of videos today. It's Memorial Day weekend, so I hope that you guys all had a great Memorial Day and remembered the reason for the day. Um, I just I just paused there for a minute and kind of flipped the lights a little bit, so we're just, it's just going to be a little work in progress. I have a lot of things to haul, things that I've purchased, some PR, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. And like I said, maybe at some point I'll do get ready with me and kind of talk more through the other stuff. But at any rate, let's just let's just get back into it. I do have a good kind of lineup of videos to film, including some favorites. Um, I have a, a service that I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, it's a hair care service and so you know hopefully you will see some more regular regularly scheduled videos. Sounds like a TV show. All right <clears throat> let's just go ahead and get this. I'm just gonna grab something here for my little pile. So I have a Beautylish bag. I love these bags. If you guys order from Beautylish and get these this particular bag I use these to keep my because they you know they're fabric Keep, when I'm traveling, I put my cords in here, like a, my computer, my laptop chargers. Just a thought. Well, I, and also, as far as me being, I haven't even opened these. Me being off YouTube, I haven't had time to watch YouTube either. So I feel like I have no idea what's going on in the world of beauty. I'll have to do play some catch up with, um, go back and watch maybe some of Jen's What's Up in Makeup for the weeks and kind of see what's gone on. So if you guys have never purchased a Wayne Goss brush set, that's what this is. This is the eye set that just came out. It comes in this really neat kind of cardboard container. And then inside, everything is wrapped up nicely. Such a small package for what costs so much. <laughs> so this is the eye set he recently came out with. It's the white, I had purchased the white face set, and this is the white eye set. And I will be doing a Goss collection video for you. I know we've been talking about me doing that for quite a while. To tell you guys, I did. I bought these sort of um, sight unseen, if that's makes any sense. I got an email from Beautylish that they were coming out, and I was like, yes, please sign me up. So there were five brushes in this set, and I apologize if you guys have seen all of the things I'm going to talk about a million times here, but... What, what are you going to do? I've been MIA. I don't know what's going on. So there's the number 16 brush, which is a really large, fluffy brush. There is, this is an interesting brush. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the E36 from Sigma, only a little more dense and stiff. It's the number 20 brush. It's a very interesting size. I don't know if you can purchase these individually or not. This is the number 18, and it's similar to a MAC 217, though, again, it feels like there's a little more stiffness to it. Um, then, sorry, the number 17 brush. It's a round brush, not pinched, tapered at the top. And then, again, this, this is a little bit more like the E36. This is the, nine, the number 19 brush, and I feel like I have a 19 brush that's not like this. Anyway, so this is really good. This sort of brush is really good. Generally, I shouldn't say that this one is, but I'm assuming it will be. If you want to add a little color to the outside of your crease, I'm looking so I don't poke myself in the eye. Um, so yeah, I will play with those and let you guys let you guys know what I think. Um, <clears throat> you know, this I actually purchased a really long time ago, and I kept meaning to show you. I saw Mary from Glitzy Fritzy talk about these square hair bands. Um, let me get out the the card here so I can show you what it's actually called. So I saw her talking about, so I purchased two of them, one for myself and one for a friend of mine. I've not tried them yet. I've had them a really long time, you guys, but that's how it's spelled. S-Q-H-A-I-R bands. 
And the idea behind these is that they, you know, if when you put your sunglasses on your head, it holds your hair back. You generally like how it looks and it doesn't hurt. So they kind of built like a pair of sunglasses. Um, so again, I've not tried them yet. Typical of me, really. But um, I will let you know. <laughs> so I bought one for myself and one for, like I said, my friend um, Wilson. And she and I both, you know, have the same issue as far as they give headbands give us a headache. So all right, next I have a little bit of PR. This was just sent to me recently, and I have not used this sort of product before, this brand or anybody else's, but. The brand is called Eggy. I will link it below for you. I'm just getting it out of its package. And look at this little, isn't that cute? It's to hold your beauty blender, which I love, particularly for travel. There's a little, I don't know if this is an actual beauty blender in here or not, but it came, it came with that on the inside of it. I just think it is so cute and perfect because I always end up sticking my beauty blender in with my makeup bag because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, and this will be really nice for that. And then also there was one of these little silicone sponge thingies. I've not tried this to you know apply foundation with. And then it also comes with a really nice little case. So I'll list that information below. And thank you again to them. That's called Eggies Beauty. So yeah. All right, so I had a, a PR company contact me that I had not worked with before. And they represent a couple of different brands. And one of them is, um, the brand is actually Pestle and Mortar. And what they sent me was the Superstar Retinol Night Oil. So it comes in a little package like this and it comes off like that. And if I can get it out of here, I'll, I will list below for you. I believe it's from QVC. And it says it's formulated with a unique booster technique. Superstar gets to work while you're sleeping, infusing skin with two types of retinol, helping to reduce pore size, fine lines, and even out skin texture and tone. So I will tell you that in the past, I feel like I had, I felt like I've been allergic, that's me moving around in my chair, by the way. It's been a while, give me a minute. Um, I felt like I, I kind of thought maybe I had an allergy to retinol or something like that. And then I, I think that when I tried those products, I think they were time-wise products by Mary Kay or something like that. It might have just been something else mixing with that. So anyway, I'm going to give this a shot and let you know one of the videos I want to do it obviously won't include this because I haven't been using it, but it's a skincare video. That's on my list of videos to do. And then the other thing that she sent me, because somehow in the back and forth we were talking about um, Misha and how much I, I really like the Misha Perfect Cover. This is one of, it's not one of, it's absolutely my favorite BB cream. As <laughs> I fling it around. So I got the shade in number 21. I've had 23 in the past and that was too dark. I did work through that though. That's how much I liked it. This is, this is old like early on in my years of, of my beauty channel. If you, anybody remember me talking about this over and over again. So I'm really excited to have this. This has um, SPF 42, I think. Yeah, SPF 42 and it's a PA++. I love this product. It's one of my absolute favorites. So um, like I said, I, I'm gonna take some of these products and do a get ready with me and we'll, we'll chat about some of those things. And then also in here was, let me get the card out of the way, a few different masks. And this one, I don't know if this is what the brand is. I'm not quite sure, but it's a chocolate milk mask, which is cute. Uh, the Real Solution Tencel Sheet Mask, Vitamin Complex is here. And then this Mango one, that one's going to smell really good. Oh, this is from, oh, this, these two are by Misha. So that's right on the bottom. And then this one, I think it's by this a pew. Looks like that right there. By the way, I don't know what the color is on my nails. I forgot to ask them when I was at the salon, but it's a new brand of like magnetic polish that you can have like, I had my little diagonal lines put in there. Okay. Squirrel. Um, Esquito sent me, and I had no idea this was coming, so um, that was really sweet of them. They sent me three more pairs of lashes, and you guys know I've talked about the Lash Shame Desire and Lash Lorette. Those are favorites, favorites, favorites. And I've repurchased the Lash Name Desire already, so they sent me another pair of the Lash Name Named Desire. And let me try to get this little thing out of the way here, there. That's what they look like. I love these ones. I just love how that on the outer corner for my eye shape really works well. And then they had, they came out with some new lashes and this one is the one in silhouette. So they are a little, not quite as full, which is, you don't always want that crazy dramatic lash, right? 
and just kind of wispy and sort of flirty. So I will be trying those very soon. And then the last pair that they sent me is in Radiance. And it's another one of those where they are um, shorter on the inside and more voluminous on the outside. So they look like that. Or no, not. Nope. They are longer on the outside, not more voluminous. Seriously, Kristen. So thank you so much to them. That was really sweet of them. I, I had no idea they were coming. I was just looking at the card as I was putting that stuff away. And they have this, I don't know if it's new, but it's a, like if you refer friends to a Skeeto, it says refer a friend and get $5 to spend. You'll earn $5 when they, when they make a purchase. So that's cool. And there's also, um, you can get point, you can win points on purchases, redeem points for great rewards and um, earn bonus points. So I didn't know that they had that. So just an FYI on that. All right. So let's talk about what I'm wearing on my lips today. So at some point I purchased this kind of, I don't even remember why I went in and ended up seeing this. I think I maybe went in to buy, get some hot off the press. That's what it is, which I don't have to show you because I forgot that I purchased it. But, and I just happened to walk by the Too Faced Melted and I, where's the one that I like so much? I think it's in my purse. I have not like a deluxe size of one of these that somebody sent me. I can't remember what the shade is, but I loved it and the formula so much better. I think they changed the formula from when they first came out because I tried these when they first came out and they were less than delightful. And now I love them. So this is the one in chocolate milkshake. And it's just, the reason I got it is because it's a little bit on my teeth, seriously. Why wouldn't it be on my teeth? It's a little bit of a warmer shade. How long has that been there? It's a little bit of a warmer shade than most of my other lipsticks. And, you know, not just this kind, but any lipstick. And so I wanted to kind of branch out a little bit, and I do really like it. And it, it it's just, like I said, I just, I wanted to have another, some, another shade in this formula, and I wanted something a little bit different. So. so anyway, that is the deal with that. I want, I just, I can't, yeah, I'm almost positive I went in to get the hot off the press, and I just wandered over and ended up getting that as so, well. Beauty Junkie sent me another little package of some of their newer eyeshadows, getting them out of their fun little bags here. I'm actually wearing some Beauty Junkie eyeshadows today. I'll tell you what those are um, towards the end, but I wanted to show you some of these other shades that they sent. One of the packs had some really bright colors and then one had some more, you know, more natural. So this is the shade in Totally Awesome. So that's Totally Awesome. And that, I'm gonna build this up a little bit for you. You have to do some building up with that. So you're probably, if you're going to use that sort of shade and want it really to pop, you're gonna need to use probably a white base underneath it. The next shade is in Leg Warmers, which is really funny because it's a hot pink, very 80s. That's one swipe. So that one's really, really good. And I'm gonna do a Swatch Fest video that's coming up here um, in my next, I think I have five or six videos that I, I have listed that I wanna film. So I know a lot of you really wanted it. This is the shade that's so rad. These clearly are like 80s inspired. So this is a matte and it's a little bit dry. See, it doesn't. But again, I always say it doesn't always matter how it swatches. It matters how it applies to your eyes. I have a couple that swatch terribly and like high end ones, but then on your eyes, they're beautiful. And then this one, ooh, this is nice, is in break dancing. Okay, that's two swipes of it, but really, really nice. Oh, these are so 80s. <laughs> so these next ones all seem to have a sort of sheen or shimmer to them. This is in Starfield. Mm, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. One swipe. That one's really pretty. This delightful looking taupe is... Oh, so... Oh, it's star bright. I saw star again and thought that I misread something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's a beautiful taupe. Beautiful taupe. And this one is in stargazing. We're we seeing a theme here. So that one has a little pink to it. And then this is a very pretty kind of amethyst. And it's in constellation. Let's see how it swatches. If it swatches that way, that looks a little more brown. Again, those are all one swipe. Gorgeous. So also in here, they had some lip products. And by the way, when I do that Swatch Fest video, I talked to 
beauty junkies and they will give me another code for you guys. So this is just vitamin E, just a little lip balm sort of thing from them. And then there are two of this size products and then there's three that are more like this size. So this is called Dinner Party and it doesn't say what this particular product is but it's in a frosted, I'm assuming it's like a liquid lipstick. So it's probably gonna stain. Oh, that is pretty. Who buddy, is that pretty? Mm. <laughs> what can I say? It's been a while, you guys. I When I do my favorites, it's going to be so boring probably <laughs> because, it, you know, I, I kind of pulled out things that I would and used. The, oh, this is pretty too. Whew. Oh, I like this a lot. A lot of you guys are going to like this. This is in Soulmate. Look at that. Anyway, so I kind of pulled out really easy makeup looks and things to do and... This is in Mint Pink Buff, and this is a gloss. So these little ones are glosses. So that's Mint Pink Buff right there. And then this one is a little more milky. You know what this reminds me of? Um, Turkish Delight, right? Is that what it's called? This one is in Mint Pink Satin right there. Totally looks like NARS. NARS Turkish Delight, I think that's what it's called. And then Mint Jewel, this one is called. So this one, it's more like just adding some gloss on, on top. So let me show you these in the order in which I put them on. So that's, nope. There you go. So you see right there, that that's that lightest one really pretty though and they all smell really good it smells very minty so algenis released a new product and they sent me one and this it's the algenis elevate advanced lift contouring cream so i've not tried it yet we have a little little packaging coming out of this uh, but it looks like this like they're most of their products and let me just read to it it says it's this gravity shattering whipped sculpting cream cream is clinically proven to deliver an immediate measurable increase in skin elasticity. Algoronic acid and triptide 2 combined in a glycoprotein matrix to instantly help promote and reinforce a firmer skin structure. Visibly minimize size of aging and rapidly tone skin with proven lining, lifting effects. A smart technology goal delivering system provides continuous and extended activity of peptides and anti-aging microalgae to fortify skin texture and tone for a smooth, smoother, plump, more con contoured appearance in 10 days. That's interesting. It says, after 10 days, enhanced skin smoothness for 94% of subjects. Skin feels more softer, more nourished for 93% of subjects. After 28 days, skin's firmness of 83% of subjects and strengthens skin structure for 81% of subjects. So that's really, that's interesting. So... I will have to research a little bit as far as when, oh, it says implied, let me just read the instructions. It doesn't say as far as when in your regime that you want to apply it. Um, it says use after your usual serum. So I would assume cleanse, tone, serum, this moisturizer, because I don't think this would take the place of a moisturizer. At least not for my dry skin. Um, but what's neat is that they, at the same time that they did, the, uh, like they called it a stand firm campaign. And I think it's, I think I can still post. It came right when we were moving. And so I wasn't able to post on Instagram and that sort of thing. But it does say that if you, you can save 10% and get 10%. I don't know how long this lasts, but if you're interested on the Elgenis website, if you use free to love, and that's F-R-E-E -E two, the number two, L-U-V, you'll get 10% off and then they will donate 10% to that free to love campaign. And, um, I, yeah, so there was a little thing that I could use and there is a hat and that sort of thing. So hopefully I'll, I will still get a chance to post that on Instagram. Um, but I wanted to for, you know, for certain mention it here as well. Right, so lastly, uh, Corlex sent me some products again and they've sent me products before I've shown them to you and it's Q U A L E R E X beauty. I'll list it below. And you find it on Etsy. They are a cruelty-free company. They even have the little bunny thing. And let me get this out of here. So I will. In the past, I've talked to you guys about how I didn't like their body butters because they were too 
thick. I couldn't get them to rub in, but I had another friend who loved them. And every time I get one and I don't, it, you know, I always try it and it doesn't work for me. I send it to that friend and they use it. So, um, the, the point in, in me telling you this is that they listen to their people and they change the formula and they said that the body butter is now easier to apply. So I tested it right away and it really, it, it very much is. And this is the scenting coconut lemon verbena. It smells really good. It smells kind of like, like a vacation, only not in your face, if that makes any sense. So, and I just want to show you guys that it is so much easier to work into your skin. The other one I just couldn't do, and I, I know I wasn't the only one. Um, Kristen321 and a few others had said the same thing. So, um, works really well, smells really good. So I'm excited to go ahead and give those a shot this time. My other friend will be sad because, you know. And then also in here is uh, two of their whipped lip butters. I do like these particularly in the winter. One in unscented, so if you are an unscented person, maybe check that out, and then one in vanilla. And there are a couple of lip treatment balms, Argon Lip Treatment Balms. And I also like that they give you a little use by sticker, which is nice. This one in lavender lemon and one in peppermint. And there is a Argon Face Butter. So I've never used something that's quite that thick. You guys know I definitely need extra moisture, but I'm just getting this out of its... Ooh, it came with a little spatula. That's nice because I know a lot of people don't like to stick their fingers in this. It smells very kind of minty medicinally. It's very hard. So I'm trying to work down in there. So I'm not sure how I will feel about that, but it goes on nicely. You can see right there, hopefully. Let me see. It's very, feels very kind of oily, like it would be nourishing. So we will see, I will play with that some. And then one of these other products in here I've used up completely before, the Intensive Anti-Aging Face Serum and Foundation Primer Oil. I've used one of those before. And this one is the Argon Collagen Renewal Anti-Aging Face Serum. I've not used this one. It says face serum designed for mature, dry, or damaged skin, rejuvenating, firming, brightening, and collagen boosting. And the other product, the serum and foundation primer, says anti-aging, Intensive Serum for Morning and Night, Non-Greasy Silky Formula Foundation Primer. So, thank you to them for those. And I wanted to mention this Corlex Beauty. They have on here 10% uh, off with coupon code, I'm assuming anybody can use this. So F, I'll list it below, but it's F as in Frank, S as in Sam, T as in Tom. You know what, I'm gonna list it below. It's FSTPC10. Um, and so, like I said, I'll list it below for you guys. Why, I was, why I'm reading it out, I don't know. All right, I think that that is everything. I will tell you guys what's on my face. Let me grab this here. Uh, for primer, I have been using and loving, I'll talk about this, my favorites, is the Becca Purple one. It's the First Light Priming Filter, loving that. And then I just switched over to this to um, try and review. This is the Lancome Tint Idel 24-Hour Makeup. I'm in the shade 1... 100, but it's pretty light. I have to bronze up quite a bit. I bought this more in the winter and I have been outside a little bit here and there, believe it or not, in between unpacking boxes. Uh, for blush today, I have the number seven blush. I'm trying this one out to report back in peach velvet. I told you what is on my lips already. Oh, also that sheen is not from that blush. It's from the Laura Mercier Illuminating Powder in Candlelight. On my eyes, I have some Beauty Junkie shadows. So I'm gonna pull them out of here and tell you what they are if I can, here we go. The, on my, all over my lid, I have the shade in Penny Lover. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then I have Dash of Curry in the crease. And then I took a combination of two of the browns. I just kinda of wanted, I don't know, I took these two. One wasn't dark enough, one wasn't warm enough. Um, Brown Canyon is this one, and Grizzly is this shade right here. And then to sort of brow bone and kind of clean things up a little bit, I used this one in Peach Skull. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I used. And I believe that that is everything, so thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a long one, but like I said, I had quite a few weeks of, of things to catch up with. I appreciate you um, being patient with me, and yeah, 
I think I think that's it. I'm so happy to be back. I miss you guys so much. I'll do my best to get back to comments on this um, one, though. I have a feeling there'll be a lot more comments on this one than on a normal haul video, so I will do my best. Um, but yeah, please let me know how you guys have been doing, what's going on with you, are you enjoying the start to your summer, <laughs> that sort of thing. I would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye!